Welcome to YouTube Celebrity Gossip News. My name is Chris and welcome to the show. We've got some news on Brian Laundry and the Brian Laundry case. Not only that, we also have news on what happened with Seth Rollins the night that he got attacked at a WWE event. And not only that, uh, more. So let's go to work, stick around till the very end. And so let's do this now. So welcome back everyone. Basically, here is what's going on. Brian Laundrie's results have come back. He has died of suicide, a self-inflicted wound to the head. So basically, you know, when the FBI came in and took all the uh, parents' belongings of uh, Brian Laundrie's, um, his parents, Chris and Roberta, well, there was a gun that was missing that they had to report. I know what everybody's gonna say about that. And here is the thing about that. Well, when everybody went out to find Brian and to find more evidence to this case, stuff regarding the Brian and his death. Well, when somebody found Brian's remains, how come it wasn't reported that there was a gun or how come Nobody ever saw a gun up until now. Here is a press release by Steve Berlino. And not only that, everyone wants to know if there's going to be, be media coverage more on this. I could say that this is not all over. We'll see what happens more with this case as it goes on. Just to tell you, that's what the results were. And I want to know your thoughts. How do you think Brian really died? Or do you guys even think that Brian is really dead. Not only that, moving on, we also have Seth Rollins. Seth Rollins was at a WWE event. He got attacked by the fan and um, they took him out and everybody thought it was a part of the show to where it really wasn't. And so basically that's what happened was that this guy came out of the stage and started attacking Seth Rollins. Security moves in and arrests the fan that that attacked Seth Rollins. So this fan was hit with two charges. Okay, so what are your guys' thoughts about what happened to Seth Rollins? Do you think it was a setup for real? And WWE's just, you know, covering it up? Or do you think it was for real? Not only that, moving on, we also have LeBron James was hit with a one game suspension to where they were in a game against the New York Knicks. And next thing you know, LeBron hits Isaiah Stewart in the face. I know it was by accident. Isaiah Stewart is really pissed off over that matter. And so he wanted to fight uh, LeBron James. So that's all the news I have for you guys. What you can do is like this episode and share it with your friends, family. And not only that, this has been a top level media. Happy Thanksgiving, gobble gobble. And we'll see you all on the next one. See ya.